Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams and I'm going to work one of these net present value unequal lives questions for you. Um, and I'm going to use this new, new nifty gadget I got, which is um, calculator on the screen. Um, I have two projects that the singing fish fine foods has to consider. And one is a million eight fifty. Well, both of them are going to deal with their one million eight hundred fifty thousand dollars that they have available for capital investments. Um, but the Delhi project is a five-year life, and the wine department is a six-year life. Both of them have different discount rates and different lives. So. The end it wants you to adjust the NPV for unequal lives with using EAA. So let's get started by first calculating the NPV of the Delhi project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I am going to do my second clear work, clear. I'm going to go to cash flows and I'm going to do a second clear work again just because I want to make absolutely certain I don't have anything in here. And now that I'm sure it's clear, I'm going to go to cash flows. My first cash flow is going to be my $1,850,000. That's going to be my outflow, and that has to be a negative. And I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to come down, use my insert key, and I want to need, see what my first year's cash flow is. Well, for the Delhi section, it's six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So I'm going to put in six hundred and fifty. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to come down, and it won't, it's asking me how long or how many years I'm going to get the project, and I'm going to get six fifty for five point zero years, and I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to, I know this sounds weird, I'm going to be, hit net present value and it's asking for I. I is the discount rate. In this case the discount rate for the deli is 9.6 and I'm going to hit enter and now I want to compute net present value enter. Hello? Oh, I can just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go back. After you hit the I, I knew it using this thing on the screen. After you hit I, go down to net present value and then hit compute. And it's going to tell you 639,398.35. And so what I know now is that the net present value of the Delhi project is 639,398.35. 35. Okay, now I'm going to clear this out because I've got to do the wine section. So I'm going to go second, clear work, cash flows, second, clear work, clear. I'm just obviously a clear work fanatic. So I'm going to go back to cash flows. I'm going to put my first year's cash flow out. And I know that that's my $1,850,000, and that's a cash outflow. So I'm going to hit the negative, and then I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to use the down arrow. Cash flow 01 is how much I'm going to get every year. I'm going to get $540,000 out of the wine um, investment, and I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to come down and want to know how long am I going to get this. In this case, for the wine, I'm going to get it for 6.0 years, and I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to hit my net present value key. When I hit NPV, the first thing it wants to know is what is my discount rate. For the wine section, it's 8 point eight percent enter hit my down arrow net present value shows up I'm going to hit the compute key 
and I know that the net present value for the wine department is now 586-908-92. All right, so it's just saying based on the NPV, NPV, which one should it pick? Well, obviously, we always pick the one with the highest um, net present value. So in this case, whoops, in this case, I'm going to pick the Delhi project and hopefully, yay! All right, now it wants me to adjust the NPV equivalent annual annuity. And this is how we're going to do that on the BA2 plus. I'm going to go through, I'll be right back, I'm going to go through this um, craziness of me clearing everything out 20 times. All right, so I'm going back to the Delhi project. And I'm going to do this EAA, and the way I'm going to do the EAA is that I know that the Delhi project lasts five years. I know that it has a 9.6% um, discount rate. I know that the present... NPV or the present value is this 639, 398.35. So I'm going to pick up that number of 639, 398.35. I've got to make that a negative, and that's my present value. I know that zero is my future value, and now I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to say compute. Payment 166,951,56 is going to be my adjusted NPV EAA. And so this 166,951,56 is the adjusted NPV equivalent annual annuity for the Delhi. So I'm going back through all this clear work. I'm going to go to the second, clear work, second. Make sure that you clear your time value of money. Do that second clear time value of money. Second clear work. I clear this stuff like a million times. I say second quit. Then I go clear. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my NPV EAA for the wine section. So I know that the wine project um, lasts six years. Yes. So I'm going to go six is my N. The um, discount rate for wine, which is my IY, was 8.8 .8 was my IY. I know that my 586-908-92, my 586-908.92, uh, point Nine two negative is my present value. I know that zero is my future value. I always hit enter. You probably don't have to. Because now what I want to do is compute the payment. The payment on this one or the adjusted NPV EAA is one three zero zero five four forty four. Oops, let me grab. I don't know where my calculator went. So my um, NPV for unequal lives um, tells me that based on this, I need to take the largest of the two. Based on this, I'm going to pick the deli. And my finance lab says, well done. And in this case, does the decision change? And the answer is no, because I would have picked up here, I would have picked the deli with the largest net present value. And in this case, I still would have taken the deli when I used this equivalent annual, annual annuity approach in order to adjust for the unequal lives of the project. So the decision doesn't change. If I say check answer, it says fantastic. And I hope that this helped and that you guys have a great rest of your day or evening.